All right, hello everybody. I wanted to show you all my new recent discovery and I don't know how the world may take it. Honestly, this is something that's more right-brained than left brain as far as the geometry and how I bring it to you, but I don't want to leave you waiting. So what All right. So the discovery that I've made is upon looking at the geometry of the Mandelbrot set and the geometry of the Mohdhera Sun Temple, I realize that they have strikingly similar metrics. Now, the root word of geometry is the word measure. And in fact, when you look at the Mandelbrot set, everything there that you see is based on metrics. This is a fact. It's based on a grid plotted points and those are therefore specified metrics the only way that you have this cardioid shape and the circular aspect of it is through a certain metrics and the exact fractal um, branching points that it has those are through certain measurements or metrics and to keep it simple I know that you can probably not see what I'm saying right now but to keep it shorter I did a superimpose and so I'm going to delete this and put it right over on top of it. And you'll maybe be able to see. You should be able to if you have a great third eye. Pay attention to the rectangular step well that you have right here. You see the rectangle? And then you also have a center, very important aspect of the Mandelbrot set or this intricate architectural geometry that you see here. You see that this right here is exactly my work, as I've shown. Now, when I put this over it, you see something happens. The other two that are up there, they can be explained later. But upon zooming this back out, you'll notice something. Like I noticed, maybe. Like I said, pay attention to the rectangle and the circle that is made around my discovery. It's like drawing a circle around a circle in a square. Everything that I made is square based. There are no circles within my work. No. This here is circling. As far as the Mandelbrot set, you see a circle and spirals, curvature, you don't see any straight lines in the Mandelbrot set. But it's made based on straight lines and how such the grid that is made based on the pixels. Because that's all the Mandelbrot set is, infinite pixels. So pay attention to that top up there too see where everything lands at and keep in mind that this picture is also from an angle so it probably would land dead more on everything if it was more perpendicular but that's perfect enough if you can see exactly what i am trying to show i can screenshot this save this picture and i can zoom in on these key points that Y'all might not be looking at to see what I see. So you see that, and then you see that. You see that, and then you see that. So just maybe you can understand that a little bit better. Now, the Mandelbrot set does not exist without a computer, as far as us drawing it out. But as far as the super finite principles of it and geometry of it, yes, you have to have a computer to do that. So I just want to show this here today. And then the great architect of the universe, I can show that right here too, that the great architect of the universe is uh, has the Mandelbrot set, something that looks is very much, <clears throat> excuse me, something that looks very much like the Mandelbrot set in that picture, which was made in the 1500s. If you have to have computers in order to really see the intricate mathematics of the Mandelbrot set, then how did they do this back in ancient times is very much 
were to consider that they have computers back then, some form of them that were just from a different, uh, a way that we couldn't understand completely. But I do feel that it is very much, very much important to consider that my work is fractal. It is a fractal. And if you look at the Mandelbrot set, it has, or it is a fractal. You can see on the sides of it, you can zoom into the same thing over and over and over again. Just like on my work, you can zoom in on the sides of it. And it's the same thing over and over and over again. This has been Corey Anthony, and this is my new discovery dealing with the Mod Hera Sun or Mode Hera Sun Temple. And I hope that you all appreciate this work that I've brought to you.